Troy Bridges has a quick check at today's forecast. Troy, we need good weather today. Yes, we do. We don't want any issues. We certainly don't want to scrub. We are pinpointing some rain right now for areas of Flagler County, Palm Coast on down to Daytona Beach and Volusia County. Into the future here, we will pinpoint the beginning of that launch window at 217 this afternoon with a couple of showers that could be close to the launch site as we see that pushing from east to west. Eventually, the east coast sea breeze pushes inland of the coast, inland of the launch site, so we see more of a go, an 80% go closer to 3, 4 in the afternoon as most of those storms move away. But for the beginning of that launch window at 217 this afternoon, there's a 60% go. We'll have to watch it very closely. Coming up, we will talk more about rain chances on the way for the holiday weekend, but we are also pinpointing the tropics as of 11 o'clock this uh, 11 o'clock last night. We did see Earl develop tropical storm Earl very close to Puerto Rico, but it will make that turn up to the north and away. We'll talk more about tropical storm Danielle straight ahead. Lauren, back to you. All right, Troy, thank you. Taking a live look right now at the Kennedy Space Center, where NASA is counting down the hours to its second attempt at launching its most powerful rocket ever. We are now just under eight hours away from witnessing history on our space coast. Right now, NASA is in its liquid hydrogen slow fill, making tweaks to their original launch plan in the hopes of avoiding a second scrub. All right, well, we want to see part of the plan. It's chilling the engines earlier than they did during the first attempt. You'll remember one of the biggest hiccups involved a problem cooling one of the engines. NASA says it turns out it was a faulty sensor that was throwing a false alarm. But engineers still want to start the chilling process 30 to 45 minutes earlier than they did on Monday. So they are starting this morning at 8 a.m. and about an hour and a half from now. We have other sensors in the system that can confirm uh, the temperatures are getting to where they want, uh, so they're quite confident they've got this figured out and they'll be okay to press through the countdown tomorrow. Now, obviously, we'll have to wait and see how that goes, uh, but they're confident. Artemis will lift off on a 37-day mission around the moon. It will reach roughly 40,000 miles beyond the moon before re-entering Earth's atmosphere at more than 24,000 miles per hour. If it goes up today, splashdown is set for October 11th.